how everybody doing? I'll, uh, give me one second. You know I gotta light my sacrament. It's a, it's a sacrament. It's not a drug to, to correct all of those who call this a drug. A drug is something that has been chemically changed. It's those prescriptions and shit you use is not this. Coca is not a drug. Cocaine is a drug. There is a difference. This is the original plant. There is no chemical alterations to make you addicted or nothing. You got stupid motherfuckers that spray shit, but if you buy them from niggas that spray shit, that's on your ass. Don't take shit to grow weed. <coughs> grow your own. But, <laughs> Uh, that's getting off a topic today. Today, I'm going to teach one about what the true power of your being is. We're going to go on deeper levels of thinking today. I want to see how deep some of my viewers actually think. If I can spit what I'm about to spit to you, and you actually can understand while I'm going along, you sharp. First, I'm going to explain to my ladies. I want you to really listen because this is definitely dedicated to you. Stand the th understand the power of what is your universe. The womb you hold inside you makes you more powerful than anything. Because you make a god a god. You give him a kingdom. You're his vessel. You're his enlightenment you're his illuminator understand who you truly are and to my men to my kings to my Yahweh's you know I gotta show y'all love love my men I show y'all all due respect because they always put men down but I know too many good motherfuckers up out there to allow the few motherfuckers make a bad name for you so, to my Yahweh's out there, I want y'all to understand how you can make a woman powerful to make yourself powerful. If you make your woman powerful, that will make you powerful. Look at the past of the women and the great men. You have my favorite. I'll read her artist seduction and read out Cleopatra's style was. She was that bitch. What she was, was every man's fantasy. That's how she depicted herself. She will do different costumes and theatrical t type of style in her entrance when she presented herself to the man. Give him some oohs and eyes at all times. So not only was she something for him to see himself within every type of feminine entity, she broke it down to a masculine entity. Because behind closed doors, she was putting her chest pieces together to make moves to make Egypt on high while blending in with Rome and while she, her men made her powerful she made them powerful understand that concept now why I call your womb a universe because while our universe was created the sun was created by a burst of gases during our universe and as these bursts of gases exploded and if you ever s see the picture of how it looked it's very interesting but it goes into a funnel shape and explodes and inside that funnel you'll see pods of hot balls that are about to be dispersed and these hot balls are called seeds Start following it. All right. Now, inside that universe, as these seeds start to spread, they start finding their perfect alignment. And once they come within their perfect alignment, other matter starts to pull and gravitate towards their alignment. And as it starts to gravitate, the chemical reaction that happens 
because of that heat source, that seed, that star, that sun starts changing the matter, the elements that are on whatever is now inside its orbit. This begins a process of what we consider mutation. When the earth was formed, the earth was started off with an iron deposit that had bacterial life form on it. The one cell bacterial life form carried the amino acid necessary for the beginning of what is called DNA. The helios system that is breaking down in codes and different degrees where you can uh, where the codes are even more complex than what we have in our binary system in our computer. Now as it starts recording the changes that goes on because your DNA is nothing but a record. It starts changing this record starts recording all these changes and starts becoming more defined more specific because now you have different chemicals coming around being introduced into it and it's taking it in and it's starting to mix them into perfect ways that starts creating things like the elements that create water the elements that create that create the cells in our skin starts to become more complex so this now rock not only becomes a new home, but it becomes a home which is mostly water and resources for food, but it starts off new life just because of the introduction of these seas, these suns, this heat source. When a man inserts his penis into a woman's canal and he explodes his seeds inside her, they find their perfect alignment within her uterus. When her eggs are now dished out they come in contact and begin to take on the orbit with that seed. That seed begins to put its power, is now allowing new records and mutating this, this little, this little world, and turning this world to make a life. The same chemical changes that happen. When everything started, happens every time sperm hits egg. Sperm gets introduced into the universe, matter of fact. You make worlds and new sons and new kingdoms, women. Men, your biggest influence, if it wasn't for your, your source, your light, we would not even be able to be blessed with the ability to be that vessel. It's a recycled type of power. And it has to feed on one another. When they made male, they made female. Ish and Isha. They made these two beings to now have dominion in the way where you have your sun and your earth to show the science of everything on earth with these two beings. That's some powerful shit. So if you ever really want to know how everything started, if you want to really question, it's in you. It's written in your code. It's everything from your chromosomes to your genetics to everything to the science of your human body. Understand the human body, you will understand how it all started.
I hope I rattled a couple of heads, had a couple couple of people thinking, and I had some fun. So, next year coming up, please, we got to legalize this. It's a retarded way to waste money that they're not even really spending on the prison systems or whatever that they're claiming, but you're locking up people and make, doing all this extra stuff over something that I don't know anybody who OD'd off it. Can't OD off weed. Y'all want to put it in, in two milligrams pills, though, and dish it that way. Oh, that's going to be legal. <laughs> that's cute. So when you put it in pill form and start killing your kidney and your liver because they got to filter it out, that's okay. But to have it in, in its natural form is not. All those stupid motherfuckers using salvia, can y'all stop? Y'all don't know what the fuck you're fucking with? That is a sacrament that my people have used for thousands of years and we're going to have that ban like we have peyote and everything ban because y'all get all high and stupid want to get stop getting high on just anything stop being retarded that's called being retarded just trying to find something to get high and get away nah be strong try to hand, face your shit why i blow weed because i can not taking no opiate pills and stuff like that so I can be all high up all day and not feel my pain. I want to know my pain is there so I can know what's wrong with my body. But at least deal with it during the day. This is a sacrament that allows you to deal with your day. and But you still face your day. And if you get that stupid off of weed, yeah, you don't need to smoke. If you get, I mean, if you don't know what you're doing and what you're doing it for and what you're using, then don't do it. Stop. Please, you're fucking up for everybody else. I can't use my shit because of stupid people. Get that. One.